All right, use the intercepts to graph the line of the equation. So here's the thing we got to remember on the intercepts, especially when graphing. And the nice thing about the computer program is that you only need two points to graph. So if you can find the intercepts, then graph those. And then, uh, well, it will, it'll draw the line for you. So <clears throat> let's look at the x-intercept, right? x-intercept. Um, what value do we always know for the x-intercepts? So we're looking at this number line here, right? Well, one of them is, right? The x value may change, but the y value right here is zero. And it always will be for every x-intercept. So we know this is zero, which is the y value specifically. So when I solve this, I've got 2x minus 4y equals 16, but I'm replacing the y with zero. I usually just tell people to ignore that, that term altogether because, well, 4 times 0 is 0. Now I've got a pretty simple equation to solve by dividing both sides by 2. And I find my x is 8. So there's my x-intercept at 8, 0. I know I botched that up yesterday, so I think we're good there. Uh, Monday, sorry. So y-intercept. What do we know always about the y-intercepts? Very good. X value is always zero. So all we've got to do is find the corresponding y value. So again, I, I can just kind of cover that up and rewrite this as negative 4y equals 16. And solve for y, divide both sides by negative 4. And y is negative 4 in this ordered pair. So 0, negative 4 is right here on this graph. Now I just need to draw the line. So let's get the tool out. Well, it would have drawn the line for you, so. There we go. There's the graph, the line on the graph, or the graph of the line, or I don't know.